So today we're doing another hidden gem in Florida. It's Bach Tower Gardens. These gardens feature plants that are indigenous to Florida. And So today we're doing another hidden gem in Florida. It's Bach Tower Gardens. These gardens feature plants that are indigenous to Florida and you can see them. Um, we're gonna do the main walk today, which is gonna culminate at the Bach Tower right over there. And if you never had a chance to come look, Come and see this. It's amazing. You can bring your bikes, you can walk it. It's really, really awesome. Yeah, it's great for like just being out and meditating. It's hot and humid today, but hey, we get a workout in. <laughs> <laughs> So this area is called the window by the pond. As you can see, very relaxing. It's just nice and relaxing to sit here. No crowds. We we're gonna actually we were gonna venture out to a place that was a little more crowded today and we decided, or actually Madeline decided, hey, let's go, let's go over to Buck Tower. Sure, why not? So glad we did now. I mean, it's August in Florida, so it's a little warm, but it's so worth it, so relaxing. So this is one of Madeline's favorite flowers here. She loves this. It and why do you why do you love it so much? Because it attracts butterflies and it's so pretty. It looks like it has a halo, and um, that's what they do. They attract butterflies with that, so they pollinate. <laughs> so I've seen a bunch of sundials in my day, but this one is actually really really cool. So what it is is they have a sundial here. You stand on the month. And then from where you stand on the month is what time it is. So it's August, my shadow is right at 12. Guess what time it is. Here we go down to the Pinewood Estates. This place is filled with butterflies, no doubt. Feel that wind temperature? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's common. And I don't know if you can hear it, but everywhere around the garden, you can hear the bell in the tower playing a song. Yeah. <laughs> 
and then we come to Pinewood Estate. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that tree. Yeah. Towers actually represents a Japanese lantern and it was given to him by one of the members of his staff representing seven years of savings and topping it with doves that represent the search for world peace and this is as a memorial to his um, burial which is in the front of the gold doors So he can see the seven doves. And what does it represent? The search for world peace. That's pretty awesome. He must really like it here and I can't like, oh, doesn't matter where you look, it's just so beautiful. Yeah, it is pretty amazing. All right, so today what I'm gonna do is we have our um, anchor chain that we bought. So we're gonna re go ahead and replace the one that we have because it is nasty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and wash it off so that I can take my paint, mark it. I have it all laid out here, already measured out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and mark it for every 25 feet. So since we have 200 feet of chain, it should be pretty easy. Get all this knocked out for today and hopefully get it done and be able to put it in this weekend. Yeah, one more thing. So what are you doing? Right now I'm closing up some of the holes in this cardboard so that um, so that when I spray paint it, I don't get paint all over the freaking driveway. Yep. It's one of the last things we need to do. We're down to a handful of things, upgrades that we need to be able to, to head out. Yep. So what I'm doing is, like I said before, um, in the other in the other clip, was that um, I'm taking this and I'm marking this with different colors. So 
so that as we're deploying the anchor, as we're deploying the anchor, we'll be able to actually see, you know, be able to just get a visual and see how much anchor we have out. So if we want to do our proper scope, we know if we have an, more than enough or not enough. We Good don't want to just, we don't want to be in 10 feet of water and dump out 200 feet of chain. <laughs> and we don't need that. So I'm marking it every 25 feet with different colors. Am I close enough? That's close enough. Yep, okay. that's perfectly close. Just checking. Can you try to get the angle that you want? <laughs> what happened? Nothing. I'm just playing with Oliver, giving him his close up. Oh. And he was looking at me like he was annoyed. Now that we got all of our chain marked, we can go ahead and get ready to then go ahead and braid in our new 5 8 three strand so that all of this can go into our brand new, oh yeah, shiny new windlass. All right, no more broken backs. There is so much you want to do to your boat. Your boat is never gonna be absolutely perfect to go. 